Sparking Zero. You know, I've been absolutely obsessed with this game since I had the chance to go play it for myself and record 30 minutes of footage to bring to the channel. The only thing is, 30 minutes was never going to be enough. So now, what we're going to do in today's video is go all across the internet, scouring as many places as possible to bring you every animation and mechanic that I could find and just react to as much gameplay as possible. If you like Dragon Ball games and are excited for Sparking Zero, definitely make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe because you know we're going crazy when this game comes out or just when any news or trailer comes out about the game, honestly. Starting things off, obviously we gotta watch through a ton of the Japanese footage that came out. This stuff all has no commentary, so it's all just the game, as opposed to our recording session where we actually were required to talk over it just so that we weren't just putting out the gameplay. And we've got Super Saiyan Goku's intro. Oh! I really love when they keep it basic. I can't lie. The intros in this game have been surprisingly good. There's that feature I was talking about in the first video. When you dash behind close enough, you just automatically appear behind and go for a kick like a vanish. Look at the way the water comes up under the dash. Nah, this game is beautiful. Oh my, I can't, I can't stop watching this footage, bro. This video is for me. Death beam, bro. Somebody balance this goddamn death beam. Still did 8.6K. Frieza mains just keep winning. We got Frieza's ultimate, the death ball. I don't think I've seen this. Damn, that looks sick. It just misses, though. Doesn't blow up the planet. So, it looks like Earth's a little more resilient than Namek. We got more than five minutes. They are clashing. Is this Freeze's ult? No, Death Crasher? All right. He hits it. Oh, my God. Wait. Is this what... Was that against, like, Jiren? Was that what that was referencing? <laughs> that was kind of sick. I mean, I guess it could just be a Death Crasher, but I'm not really too sure he grabs people like that. Oh, bro wanted to hit the ultimate. He had to spam it. Go ahead, then. What's it look like? All right, so when the ultimate does hit, he explodes it on contact. All right. Goku got kind of cooked. I can't even lie. Now we've got Broly and Vegeta. There's a few things I wanted to talk about in this footage. Just like right there. When you see those galaxies or the different universes, almost like a, a Broly movie highlight. That's the uh, wall of the stage there. I think that's a really cool effect compared to the old games that would just show you kind of the invisible wall. This game just lets you see like, yes, you are pressing up against it, but still. Oh my God. Broly's win animation is so sick. I don't know why he hits a whole pose like that, but. Still, it's sick. Now we've got Golden Frieza versus Broly. Again, we get... Oh, man, that aura looks so cool. Uh, I'm hoping we get to see uh, more of Golden Frieza's animations here. That's what I'm looking for. Golden Frieza, kind of a mystery. Damn, response? Oh, my God. The weave instantaneously. We saw that a bit in my first video, but still. And then we got the chain jail from the... Like, the T.O.P. where he was helping go on. Hold on. That move was kind of garbage. <laughs> I mean, it looks sick, but how much damage did that do? Wait, hold on. 3K, and look it looks like most of it missed. Then again, maybe it could be like a move that just never misses or something, or it can't be blocked, maybe, but that looks like the new Scatter Energy Beam. They kind of fixed Scatter Energy Beam. Most of it hits now. That move just misses completely. Broly with the buff. That was sick. Golden Frieza going for his ultimate. Oh, I want to see this. Oh, he just does it right away. He just does it right away and misses. Ah, oh, damn. Broly ain't going to let that slide. Oh, wow. That was the counter move. He just he just stopped in mid-combo. We're on Hercule, and this is the character that I got away from me during my time. They called time before I could see Hercule, and uh, I've seen a lot of cool stuff with this character on Twitter. All of his animations look great. Obviously, if you're a fan of the Budokai Tenkaichi games, you're going to notice right away he doesn't have his jump pack or the jet pack that allowed him to, like, actually fly and stuff but this game just kind of lets him hover around he still falls don't get me wrong but you can kind of just repeatedly jump into the air so that's a little you know depending on how you feel about it it could be a good or bad thing you get his iconic design and the same kind of movement but i actually like the idea of him just not being able to fly at all honestly uh oh another big thing as you can probably see here and i did ask about this during my session with the developers not sure if i can share but it's probably fine granted because you could just tell but the world tournament rules are not on this stage and not only are they not on this stage they just aren't in the build at all right now it's just not something you can do granted obviously it was a test build so it might be in the full game but as of right now that iconic ring out map that we all love Loved in uh, BT3 uh, is just not there right now. So you cannot get ring outs in World Tournament in Sparking Zero, at, at least as of yet. Vegeta has a sick grab, man. Any grab that has an energy blast. Oh, Mr. Satan's aura. <laughs> His aura just a spotlight with confetti. The gift. Oh, no, Shaw. Oh, bro, got him a new iPhone. Damn, he thought. Oh, damn, the text was sick. He really thought he was getting a new iPhone, bro. Oh, get out of his way. Dynamic kick. Oh, this is going to do no damage, huh? 
Just zero damage or is it RNG still? Uh, yeah. Okay, it still did some. It did 2k. That was nothing. Oh, no. And Majin Buu. Hold on, wait, uh, I haven't seen any Majin Buu gameplay. Hold on. I haven't seen any of this. No way. He's got the fat toss. Oh, that is sick. Damn, wrap him up. Oh, my God. Leaving nothing left. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Ugh. From the top rope. He is just trash. The stage destruction in this game, by the way, looks amazing. All the different places you can, like, put holes into the world tournament stage. Um, I don't think we've seen it yet, but you can clear out this audience. I guess they haven't been scared by anything just yet, but I don't know, man. I see Majin Buu. I think I'm running. Hercule comes back out. Honestly, I'm just trying to see the end of this fight now. I'm trying to see what Hercule got. Hey, one more dynamite kick. See, he would have been rung out right now, bro. You, 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 bro is cheating. Come on now. Ain't no way the audience could accept this. He's cheating. Oh, what is this? Wait, is that a move? Oh, Vegeta just gained a bar of key. Whoa, let me see that again. What, that, that was not a move, bro. Is this a system mechanic or something? It looked like he did a charge hit maybe into a counter. Maybe just into a block or not moving. I'm not sure, but it takes a bar from Hercule and gives it to Vegeta. I'm not sure if that was a system mechanic or what. I haven't seen that before. Oh, Hercule misses the combo. Clutch up, Hercule. Clutch up. I'm just trying to see you win now. Please. Let's go. Hercule gets the big W. Sends Vegeta back to the registration desk. And the win pose, generic victory sign. We'll take it. Oh, now we've got some of the androids on the uh, destroyed future map. Looking pretty good. This is just, uh, I believe this is the androids gameplay. 18 dashes up. Are we just getting a Galaga into the face? No, my God. Sends him through a building. Every bit of stage destruction we see just looks so good. And we've got 18's ultimate. Sadistic 18. Oh, the knee. Are we going to break his arm? Oh, we're just hitting the over-the-shoulder shot. Oh, my God. Disrespectful. Now, again, you'll remember from the uh, footage I did last time with 17, androids cannot charge their own key in this game. That is, like, just staple Budokai Tenkaichi stuff. Every bit of energy you spend, you're going to have to wait for that to come back. And the God Vegeta transformation is nuts. Oh, my God. He's buffed up, too, now. He used his blast stocks. All right, he's in his max form. Here it goes. Oh, no, he just used a standard... But wait! Wait! He just used a standard key ultimate, and it didn't drain his ultimate bar entirely. Now we get to see his ultimate... No, wait. Hold on. Wait. Did I... Please tell me I ain't seeing this right. Damn. Hold on. How much of an ultimate he got? Oh, that was kind of sick. But tell me I didn't see that right. Did he just regain his own health? Did he drain health? And he lands the ultimate, and then, yeah, he gains health. Oh, my God. At least it wasn't a full bar. At least it wasn't one full bar, but that is still disgusting. <laughs> that is still disgusting. If I see Jero players online, I'm sick. Are we getting outro to the lens flip? Jero, I promise you you're not him, bro. But why they do you like this? Oh, we're going to get to see Piccolo's intro. Nana was showing me this on the podcast. This guy's too clean with it. <laughs> Look at that pose, man. That is so sick. I haven't really seen any Piccolo gameplay, so this is kind of exciting. I want to see what he does. For sure, this is just early Piccolo, right? I think his ultimate is just a special beam cannon, and they haven't really talked about it, but what do you think down below in the comments? Are we getting orange Piccolo in base game? I think orange Piccolo and Beast go on. They gotta be base game. Up close. Come on, Piccolo. Show me a little something. Counter! Break that guard, just like the old games. We love to see it. Oh, and now that Vegeta's underwater, this actually gives me a good chance to talk about this. I believe, with the footage I've seen, I have checked it a little bit, I believe charging underwater is still slower than just charging outside of the water. Uh, that was also in the old BT games. I always found it a little annoying. I'm not going to lie, but it is still in this game. So uh, it was kind of cool. as like a callback. Maybe we can keep a lookout for it now. Since we are on this map, we can see how slow they charge underwater. If there's a chance for us, Piccolo slap back. That was that teleport mechanic. I keep talking about. Okay. Here he is underwater. Oh yeah. There it is. Look at how slow he charges. Look at how slow he charges. Yeah, look. Look at how fast it is outside of water. Oh, we're actually getting a skill, too. Is this the arm breaker? Oh, do him like a Cyberman, bro. Ugh. Toss this man into the air. Again, please let this be early Piccolo, bro. I need my Hell Zone grenade. The win animation. Not as good as the intro, but it's okay. It will, we'll take it. Vegeta Super Saiyan Transformation. We're looking at Great Ape perspective now. We did see Great Ape in my video, but again, it, was, uh, it wasn't from the Great Ape's perspective. Gives me a good chance to talk about it again. That I, I just think Great Apes are handled so much better in this game. Maybe not necessarily in a gameplay department, but just I think with the wider open looking maps, the, the size of the Great Ape and giant monster characters... 
fit the environment so much more. I love the look of it. Oh, wait, what are we doing here? Was that just... Okay, that was just his blast stock ability, getting some buffs. Oh, we got an ultimate, too. Are we going to get to see this ultimate, or are we just doing mouth beams, bro? Oh, we're just doing mouth beams, huh? Damn, in the face like that, though? Oh, look at that giant molten pillar right there. Oh, oh my God. He just knocks it away. Oh, this game is too anime. He's ch Look at him chasing Vegeta around these pillars, bro. Nah, bro. This is... I think this is, this is how I imagined the old games looking like when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he talking like that, bro? Bro is fully conscious. No way! We actually got some Yamcha footage, bro. My Yamcha footage, I'm not even gonna lie. I let myself down, bro. I I just went up against Great Ape. I couldn't hit any of the, my rush moves. Spirit Bomb only did its first hit. I had to watch its cutscene on Twitter. Hopefully, we get to see a Spirit Bomb. I'm definitely watching that in this video. We have to react to that. Yamcha combos. Oh, my God. That charge Key Blast? Hey, get these get these Key Blasts out of here, Yamcha. Oh, he's too cold. Oh, Vegeta ain't got nothing on him. It is a little unfortunate. They have confirmed that this game is going to be unbalanced uh, intentionally to better represent the series just like it was in the old games. So Yamcha is going to inherently struggle against characters like Broly, you know, any evolved state of Vegeta or Goku. Uh, so that is a little unfortunate, but hey, we still winning out here, bro. Damn, curved beam. That's not a bending Kamehameha or anything. That's just the way beams work in this game is instead of your character trying to course correct before firing, the beam will try to course correct after firing. So it does look really cool. I'm not sure if I prefer it though. Uh, but oh, Krillin's win animation? There we go. Why, why they always got him sweating, though? Why is he always nervous? Let my boy be confident. Now, here we have some Goku and Vegeta, but specifically, I want to focus on the stage destruction element. Look at the way the building, buildings dynamically break to these key blasts. You can, like, see through the windows now. That glass breaks. We've got all these windows up here. That Those break when getting hit by a key blast. You can burst through these buildings, too. It's just getting softened up now. The way, Look, if Vegeta takes off from there, that whole shit is coming down. Look at the whole... Oh, that is so sick. That is so sick. The city stage, again, is one of my favorites just for this stage destruction element that bridge is gone nah the, come on man this stage is too cool this has to be the best stage in the game oh we got a rush down skill from goku i don't know if i've seen this oh oh he's setting up the key blast jail you ain't got nowhere to run and that was sick oh we've got goku going into god oh he hits the kick <laughs> Damn, that is sick. Pose up on him, too. Goku versus Vegeta. Hey, fight back. Damn, Goku got... Oh, the aura in God looks so cool. All the aura in this game looks cool. I gotta stop saying that, bro. But look at it! But look at it! Don't avert your eyes now! Standard Kamehameha does a lot of... Da Damn, maybe... Hold on. Maybe Death Beam ain't broken. Maybe all the skills are broken. That also did 10k on no charge. Dash back, dodges the key blast. Oh, sidestep! That was clean! Get laid out, Vegeta! And we get the win animation, too. Oh, that was sick. All right, now we're on PS360's video going over a little bit of the uh, the Yamcha stuff just because I got to see more Yamcha, right? I got to see more Yamcha. Charge Key Blast again. We saw that before. Sidestep. Combo piece. Watch the Wolf Fang. Oh, my God. Let me see it. Let me see the Wolf Fang. We saw it in the trailer. I got to see it again. That's sick. Oh, they also just on the desert stage when they transition in, they also have that nice like high load differential. We just also get more gameplay. I don't know. I, I, I could watch this game all day. Hold on. I'm kind of just I kind of just got mesmerized, bro. We already seen both these characters. Oh, yo, Android 17 kind of has a little parry into an Android berry. Get off me. This game in motion looks too good. Android 17 trying to land that parry again. Dash behind. Combos gets blocked. Oh, parry stance. He keeps he keeps spamming that parry. I don't know why this gameplay is. Oh, these guys are moving right now. I can't wait to play this game again, bro. Give me give me thirty more minutes. See where I'm I'm be at. I ain't losing to nobody. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, parry. Oh, seventeen is broken. That parry is too sick. Stop. Yeah, right there. Boom. Right there. Follow up. Why is this this seventeen AI is going crazy though? Unless it's like an online match, the seventeen AI kind of moving. Masenko by Gohan, that's pretty sick. Gohan kicking it all the way up to Super Saiyan two. He's got to catch up to seventeen though. He kind of moving. Ten seconds left in this Android Gohan. And Gohan and drugs versus the Androids. Final flash. Wow, that did. Oh no, that did a lot. Hold on, I thought he blocked that. 
Time's gonna run out though. Yeah, time just runs out here. Looks like that's gonna be the end of all of this Japanese footage from PS360. But now what we're going to do is we're, I'm actually gonna go through some of the other content creators that were with me at Summer Games Fest and got a chance to play the game just to see if there's any more animations or maybe mechanics that we happen to miss out on. I'm not gonna show everything as I still do want you guys to go out there, see this other footage for yourself, but you know, I am trying to see all the sparking zero I can. Come on now. Up first, I think we have Dion footage. He's got the intro for basic Broly here. Maybe we're going to see some transformations out of him. Oh, come on. Don't let me down. Vegeta's got a raw intro line here, too. My, whatever my late father's done to you and yours is not my problem. Bro, bro has no sympathy with a mouth beam as well. I like that even the most basic abilities, when they have that aura clash, Sparking Zero does that too well. Transformation looks really good. We saw that one in the trailer, though. I mean, it's still impressive, bro. Seeing it in person was still impressive. Is this a transformation? I've never seen this. Oh, my goodness. Get that armor off of me. And God? Or is that Super Saiyan? All right, all right. Whew. I got to say, we got to keep it. God, I didn't get to see God in my footage. Damn, the speed of the game is crazy. The speed is definitely high, high speed. I'm looking forward to when everybody gets the game and has a few days on it so that everybody can move around with full comp. That beam looks crazy. And it takes out the tower in the background. Decent combo. Let's see the sweep. Let's see the pop up. Follow through. Damn, I'm, t I'm telling you, when we're all comfortable on Sparking Zero, the gameplay is going to look good. I actually believe that. Once you have like three days of practice, we're going crazy. Nice throw. And is this the ult? Oh, oh no, we're, we're just clashing. Hold up. Hold up. We got a clash. Saw that a few times. All right, here we go. Now, now we're running it back, bro. You can't. Hey, Dion, just like me for you. You can't let that slide. You can't let the bot steal the animation away. The wall looks sick. Damn, dust it off the shoulder. Oh, my God. I think the thing I was most surprised by is these win animations, bro. Sometimes they randomly go hard. And here we see what I brought up in the video. This is something I did not capture, but other people did. When you have an ultimate move or any a big enough move, the crowd will evacuate, allowing the stage to get bigger. Really cool. You can see more of this effect in Dion's video, like I said. So definitely feel free to go check that out. But that spirit bomb animation was sick. I did. Bro, Dion didn't tell me you got that, bro. Hey. Is the God transformation? That is clean. Clean. And then, yeah, look, you can get out of the ring. You can crash through the ring. Stage destruction still continues to be a goaded feature that I didn't know was going to be that good. But yeah, I really do hope they add the world tournament stuff. As far as I know, you know, I can't. I did ask. I, I basically got a, oh, yeah, and that was a couple of winks, guys. So uh, nobody can say I didn't try my best at play days, you know? Hey, then we got Nano. My, my boy is locked in. What is this? I, wait, hold on. Have I seen this animation? Goku using the double Rasengo? Hold up. What? It, wait, hold on. What is he hitting now? Oh, that's the God Wait, what? Look at him, bro. Even Nato was confused. He said, what? Oh, God Kamehameha? I like it. You know, sometimes with as many Kamehameha's are in the game, it takes a little extra sauce to make him spill. Hold on. That might have been the best Kamehameha I've seen. That was kind of crisp for just a Kamehameha. And this Nano, of course, you know he got to play Vegeta, bro. He got to gas it up. I don't think I've ever seen this animation either. Bergamo didn't need to get hit like that. Get off the ground. Oh, my God. Get up, buddy. Get up. God, Vegeta has a rushdown attack? Holy, I haven't seen. Dude, the, even with just 50 characters, one third of the full game's roster, there is so, an so many animations I haven't seen. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Oh my god! Let him go! Oh my god! Dude, I'm evacuating. See, I'm evacuating the tournament because of that, bro. I I'm simply running. This is sick. I think we saw this in the trailer, but the green wall of smoke into a mouth beam. This Vegeta has gotten the biggest beating I've seen in the whole demo. Nice. All the explosive waves, uh, explosive wave type moves. Got such a visual buff in this game. Nice. But, oh, Nano played as Bergamo? He actually took the sacrifice, bro. I, did, I forgot to play as Bergamo. I, I had him on the enemy team, but I, I didn't get to see no animations. Pull up. And what's the rushdown? I don't think Bergamo Giant is not in the game. At least he wasn't in this build. So it'd be cool to see that. That was a decent looking attack, but not anything crazy. But this is the ultimate, right? So this is the, this is the danger beam. Do we get all three? Oh, that was crisp. Although I guess that means they're not going to be their own playable characters, huh? That seems like kind of a waste. They all, they all did more than enough to get. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, 
Okay, all right. It kind of slowed down a little bit, but that intro went a crazy. Actually, it still kind of goes crazy. Period. Big Bang. Was that? That was the Big Bang, right? What the hell? Oh, Nano even got some Gohan gameplay? Damn. Oh, in the water. He's too... Bro, looking like Phelps with it. He's too smooth. And here we got his ultimate. Wait, this looks oh, super Kamehameha. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Sometimes to make a Kamehameha look good, you got to go beyond. And I always tried to combo. Oh, wait, we didn't... Wait, we never got to see Golden Freeze's final fi ultimate, did we? Is this even the final ultimate? Oh, that was clean! He's just putting him that the world breaker? Is that gonna destroy Namek? Oh, wait, why didn't that destroy Namek? Oh, Super Electric Strike, we did not get to see that. That was a good pick. Why does Piccolo look so good in this game? Hello? Wait, I'm pissed, bro. Why didn't I play as Piccolo? TN was in the demo? I didn't even see him! How did he slip past detection? Ah, oh, the earth. I missed this. Oh, no. Come on. Treat me then. Don't on Ray. Vegeta rush down. We know the combos. What's the alt on Vegeta? Hold on. Super Saiyan Vegeta? I don't even know what Vegeta this is. Probably DBS, maybe? I don't really know. Stab? Hell sting. That's crazy. That was crazy. Damn. Threw him over the side of the wall, too. All right. Now we've got God. It's time. Oh, is this the final explosion? Against Topo, we're busting it all out. How many animations were in this demo? Time up. Nah, the, bro, where's the T.O.P.? Yamcha wins? Damn, his win animation. Why does he look so good, bro? Manga accurate? And then we got more Satan gameplay. Oh my goodness, bro. I wanted to play as this guy so bad. So you see here, there was some there was some curious stuff about Mr. Satan not being able to fly. I saw on Twitter, but he pretty much can. I mean, you can see he's jumping around. He's just falling all the time, but you can elevate at any time, which is kind of a little lame, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I kind of I'm not going to lie. The tweet that somebody posted, I really like the idea of maybe he just can't even fly at all. Here we do see the ultimate, though. He's mimicking shadow boxing along with Boo. Overall, I think they killed it with Satan, though, in this game. The lack of a jump pack is a little, you know, interesting. I can't say I hate being able to see his full iconic design, though. It just sucks that he can flip his way in the air like you saw there. Dynamite kick. Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Gogeta's face. Bro is just... Bro is flummoxed right now. Oh, okay. We even got some POV footage of a great ape fight. I think they captured the size of great apes and monster-like fighters so well in this game. I, I'm not even sure if it's that different from past games, but it just feels and looks different to me. I could be wrong. <laughs> like, I, there could be nothing really different about the size. It just looks a lot better. Maybe it's the camera being this pulled back or something, or maybe it's the lack of split screen, honestly. <laughs> I did play a lot on split screen, so that could have heavily influence why i feel this way great apes took up a hundred percent of your split screen and he's not he is not phased at all hold on mouth beam oh that looks sick the barrage and then we have the super galligan ultimate come on hit that for me please tell me we get that oh yeah you already know you already know we had to see it how we had to see it Oh, that looked crazy good. Damn, manga effect. Holy, that hurt my eyes. Wow, Birder. I, bro, how did Birder get on the team? Hello? Was Birder in the demo? How did I miss Birder, bro? See, this is what I'm talking about. 30 minutes wasn't enough to see everything. <laughs> it, it's surprising to me just how many animations are in this game. I can't even lie. I can't lie. While I'm still one of those guys that's like, man, you know, I'm only really counting in my head the, the fully unique characters as characters. I can see why... You know, they count every form as a character because, like, they put in time and effort. Oh, wait, hold up. How was there still more with Broly that I didn't see? Hello? Wait, there's still more? What is this? Another charge? Damn. Oh, my God. He's chucking him. Oh, let, let him get up, Broly. My God. What is this character? Oh, my God. Wait, how did I not see this? This is iconic. Damn. Oh, he missed. <laughs> <laughs> Afro also got some Beerus footage. I haven't seen really a lot of Beerus, so this is going to be interesting. I hope we get to see some animations. He's got a move called Hakai Headshot. Wait, bro, if that is, those, is the hardest sounding move I've ever heard of. All right, Sphere of Destruction. Let's see how OG they kept. Oh, damn. See, even though there's a lot of similar moves in Dragon Ball Z, Sparking Zero did really good to differentiate them. I want to see cooler Supernova. Hold up. Wait, wait. That was sick. Big Bang Kamehameha? 
Right away one for big Damn! Time. Don't have a lot of time, so and he snipes him too. Impressive. Sorry I mistook you for Goku Black. I need to be more careful, bro. Bro needs to check his sources. Oh, Kyle Cannon. Oh, I'm going to be sick. That looks amazing. That looks so good. How did you do that, bro? Oh my god, that looks so good. Damn, charging with Kaioken. I'm gonna play, I'm a Goku Blue main just for that. That looked so good. I think we saw this, right? Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have not seen this before. That was clean. Oh, we even got some Kaioken. This one's from Storm Master. He's been compiling a lot of stuff from the internet. And Kaioken looks really good. I, I'm just a Kaioken fanboy, bro. Spirit Bomb against Great Ape? That looks sick. There's definitely got to be an animation. I learned that Great Ape just eats all the animations away, bro. Unfortunate. Big Beam as well. Oh my god, that looked doubly sick, bro. They, the Battle of Gods teleport? That what the, that's what that was, right? That was amazing. Super Saiyan 2 Super Kamehameha? Are oh, we seeing all the animations? We getting... I'm seeing all of them. I'm too big of a fan to miss any. If we're seeing Super Saiyan 2 Goku, you know we're seeing them all. Base, Scouter, Vegeta, what do you've got? Come on now, what do you have? Damn. Oh. <laughs> that was sick. Dirty fireworks looked great. Another charge attack? No, no, this is just OG Big Bang. OG Big Bang looked great. Oh, the reaction shot was amazing too. Some shots, the reaction adds a lot. Then we got some stuff from Indukuba that Storm Masters compiled together with the Gohan stuff. So what's he doing here? Oh, just a rushdown attack? What do we got? Come on, Gohan, surprise me. Shock me, Gohan. I need to see it. Backflip kick. Damn, that was cool. Oh, uh, we're showing off Yamcha now, bro. I'm so pissed I did Spirit Ball against Grade 8 Vegeta because I think they're about to show it here. I saw it on Twitter. The Spirit Ball has so much more than I was led to believe. I knew it was... I knew they weren't going to leave it on just an orb. And here it is, the Spirit Ball animation that we didn't get to see fully. Come behind, spin back around, absolutely jump this guy under the ground and back up for the finish. Clean. Yamcha, Yamcha's disgusting. That's my main right there. Wait, whoa, there's even more to bro. How many moves did this Broly guy have? Is this a Kai headshot? What is it? Oh, this is just a rushdown. Oh, no, it is the headshot. No way it's not. Oh, damn, that is tough. And birder too fast. We got the birder speed animation. Damn. Is this his ultimate? What is this? Come on. It's a big animation. It's got... Oh, he's so... It is. Him and Jace teaming up. Put some respect on their name. Purple Comet attack. But wait, is, Ch is Jace going to have this ultimate too? I'm confused. Wait, now I'm confused. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that final round out of all the animations we hadn't seen. I thought about splitting it to two videos, but I didn't think it really made sense. Wanted to show off all the other creators you can go and get some exclusive footage from as well. We didn't cover absolutely everything they did, so there's still plenty of reason. Again, go out, watch those creators for yourself. And of course, subscribe, like, keep it right here for all things Sparking Zero. We will be back with a whole ton more a lot sooner than you think. With that said, like, comment, subscribe. I have been Dada Doya. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.